everybody. Hello. Welcome back to Sunday Tea Book. Happy holidays, everyone Happy out holidays. there. Happy holidays. Hope, is... <laughs> hope you guys had a relaxing, enjoyable holiday with as many loved ones as you could muster to get together with. Um, hey, Igor. Hey, JS. Hello. I'm glad you like that intro. <laughs> Star uh, hello, Wars. Instagram world. Yeah, I stole the Star Wars role to mm. uh, show about some of our upcoming videos for the folks on Instagram. We have some uh, really fun videos coming up in the next few days. Um, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I think we got a triple, a triumvirate of live sessions where we are going to absolutely spoil ourselves and possibly spoil you. Stay tuned for more on that. <laughs> Always there. Instagram, I'm looking at you because you got to jump to YouTube to find out, okay? <laughs> okay, anyway, um, but today, today is the last Sunday tea book of the year, so that's kind of a yeah, really exciting. Uh, we and started we're wrapping up oolong tea, and so. we're wrapping up oolong, so oolong wraps up. I didn't actually fully process that this is the last Sunday tea book of 2020. This idea, I'm gonna. Oh, let's tell them what we're brewing. Let's find out. Let's find out what you're brewing. Shoot mm. up on the screen. What's in your cup? What's going on well, in Brandon your Brandon is one? joining us today. It's good to have you back on Sunday Tea Book. Yeah. Because hey, I Brandon. I can finally join a Sunday Tea Book. Yay. Yay for vacation and holidays. <laughs> you're so official today with us. I know. I dressed okay. up because it's holiday, <laughs> holiday season. So I dressed up. So, uh, hey, Reiner. Hi there. Hi, uh, Reiner. Yeah, I think I said that right. Yeah, I, I didn't say Reiner. Reiner's wrong. Reiner's right. Reiner. And yeah, how do you say hello in German? Do you know how to say hello? Um, hello. Hello. Hello, Reiner. I don't know how to say hello. I think it might be like that. The only thing I remember is oi. Anyway, that's Portuguese, right? That's a super cool it way really, to say hello. Yeah, it's easy and it really stuck. It's really fun. Cindy, hey on Instagram. Cindy, hopefully you can pop over to YouTube. Uh, we got lots of fun news coming up along with our regular programming, which is our last Sunday Tea Book of 2020, which is covering a few more oolong teas before we dive into black tea mm. in 2021. And we are brewing... Wudong Dantong. Ooh, it's spoil ourselves holiday tea time. Wudong Dantong, guys. Oh boy. Um, we're super excited. This is a great tea. Um, I'm going to throw that up for the YouTube people so you can have a closer look at the leaf. Well, and we'll show the Instagram people Instagram? old school style. Old school and very possible that I drop it again. It's raining it's tea on YouTube, tea folks, and it's going to be raining tea on our on the uh, laptop oh, keyboard here soon too for Instagram. I'm trying to improve with a little. So, guys, what's it. special about Wudong is mm. the uh, is the terroir uh, is absolutely the place for premium dantong. I'm not a huge fan of fenhuang dantong, but I love. I can't get enough of Wudong, and you'll see on the YouTube side. I'm actually highlighting. The age of these bushes is another epic Ooh. thing about these bushes. These are 40-year-old uh, Judo Zai bush. So you get not just the great terroir, not just the impeccable processing, but also the age of the bush comes through and give a wow thickness to the whole experience. So we are jazzed to brew that. I see JS has got some jasmine oolong he's about to heat up. Very apropos for our last oolong session. So I'm showing some pictures from the web also on the YouTube side of the tea. We always show key pictures that you'll always see for every single tea on our website is the dry leaf a little bit far. We usually do two, close, in close and far. Then we'll show you the liquor color. That's key if you follow us and understand intuitive brewing. You gotta know the target liquor color. And finally the brood leaf because you can learn a lot from the brood leaf. And you'll notice back in the roll a minute ago how lustrous and silky these brood leaves are. All right, so back to us. Enough tea. Um, let us know. Uh, oh, hi there. Sound is good on Instagram, but very quiet on YouTube. Never mind. It was me, not you. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Because we've had our I, share of also, sound problems. Yeah, whenever I hear that, I, I always assume it's us because we always have a little technical issue. Yeah, we have our little dashboard, right. which kind of gives us hints about what's going on, but right. sometimes it but lies. You see, it looks slightly, pretty good. Uh, up a little bit. Like, okay, cool. We're not peaking. We're still so. in green. Every yeah. now and then we touch yellow. I think that's that just perfect. Be... That's just perfect. She's a, <laughs> she's a, a great a sound man. man. She's what? a great sound no. man. <laughs> so and it looks okay. like Igor just finished up a 2007 Shem Puar session. Very nice. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah, we had some Shou Mei this morning. Oh, 70s aged, aged oolong. Dees Versified has some 70s aged oolong. Ooh. Ooh. We're going to need some that's tasting fancy. notes from you. That's fancy. That's really fancy. Yes. Definitely looking yes. forward Brandon to your tasting Brandon is having some green tea with uh, Anzi Bai Cha. Oh, that's cool. Nice, I was nice. thinking about green tea today and 
eventually somehow because I was lazy, I didn't want to open the package and all that. So I used the Asia white tea, which I haven't had white oh, really tea for good. a long time. Oh, really good. Really good. I love white tea. Great mm. to warm up for a tea, for a Sunday tea book because I'm going to be talking a lot. Mm. All right, so let me talk a little bit about what is Sunday Tea Book. Mm. All right, so if anybody's new, I see the whole tribe is here. That's great. If anybody happens to be new or you're just tuning in uh, to the recorded version, what we do on Sunday Tea Book is we take uh, books, publications, or papers that are packed, jam-packed with great information but very hard to access in the West. And they're either not translated into English or they're poorly translated into English. And we go over them uh, paragraph by paragraph, kind of page by page, and we just unravel the whole text. Um, this might sound incredibly boring, uh, but it turns out it was an idea that you guys gave us and my, our original thought was how do we even remotely make this entertaining? Well, it turns out it actually brings its own entertainment. Uh, over the last five years, I've learned so much about Chinese tea from just talking with Jen while we drink tea or while we read something or discuss a topic that I realized that uh, by translating it, we're going to dive into those nitty gritty details about why a word is chosen or why a word is confusing or how they get mistranslated. Mm -hmm. It just yields tons of insight into the whole, oops, earthquake, into the whole Chinese tea world. So, so far you guys have been loving it. We absolutely love it. And that's what Chinese tea book is all about. Yes. And continue on today's China China tea book uh, written by my mom. We didn't Chinese. start small, did we, with this book? Yeah, we this is our first book. episode in sort of the we Sunday have tea book. Some paper. A paper, an academic yeah. paper, something a little bite sized. No, we chose a gigantic book. But is it why do we do that? Because it's a great it book. It also makes us a really. Um, it's great in the sense that it really provide a look at China. what. No, go ahead. I I, I thought you were going to talk about it. it's great in the sense that it force us to be on a schedule. <laughs> when we started with YouTube Live, we just kind of show up it, it and don't show up. It doesn't work and like it that. Did work I'm to give us... by us yeah. being right, really every <laughs> Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Can't believe we're on 26, right? It's, you know, it's a great learning experience for everybody who joined mm. us and as well as for us. I mean, besides, we learned to be having a schedule and stick to it, which we oftentimes stuck at it. We also have the chance to learn a lot of other tea knowledge from you guys or even yeah. help us with yeah. translating. So those are very precious, 100%. especially uh, for me, because a lot of times I have problem yeah. how to say certain words or certain yeah. certain Yeah, and terms. many times I'm not sure what's the right word or what's the right way to say mm -hmm. it, and you guys throw that out. So continue to throw those up on the screen. Absolutely. For sure. And uh, this uh, book is packed with uh, great information, but not overly... Uh, to it's not too deep. So even with mm. people who just get into tea, this is a great book, and to get you prepared for uh, Chinese uh, all the tea knowledge, all yeah. the nitty bitty little corners. 100%. Even we talk about the tea towels. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's just how detailed this book is. That's right. I feel like this is like, like if you've ever come across other topics where you find the manual or a reference book that's just perfect in the sense that. It can, it can cater to a beginner, it can cater to a very experienced person. It's something you can always come back to. Mm -hmm. And in, on, on that note, where you can come back to the translation, because why we're doing this is the translation's definitely a little bit shady. So what we're gonna do for you guys on Instagram is we're gonna throw the translation up on the screen. I'm gonna read through it, what's written in the book, and then we're gonna unpack it. What's confusing, why it's confusing, what's the right thing, was something totally yeah. missed, which often happens. And you guys can come back to this as a manual. Well, today you can grab the finished translation in the link down below um, and pull that up and follow along. Very helpful. And you can also come back to it over and over. I think that's what I love about this book most is mm. it's, it's got all the details. And when you come back to it as an experienced tea drinker, you realize the next level is in there. You just didn't notice it the first time. Mm. You didn't need it the first time. But when you read it, it's there. Mm. And, and it can remind you of stuff. A little story, actually. That's what I was uh, uh, hesitating. Is when we started to choose what to do for Sunday Tea Book, we asked. I actually first thing I wanted to do is the paper by uh, uh, Professor Chen, who identified the six T category, because there were so many discussions about that. Mm, that's but, a really and good one. And its original uh, article vis-a-vis -vis the translated version, and it mm. was translated in the eighties or nineties. You know, mm. and it, there was a, a lot of interesting. I read those to you, and we were having hot pot and read 
tea stuff, <laughs> and he、That's、was really intrigued by this kind of a cross culture, cross time, all、mm. those different views. But that paper is、mm. slightly、uh, more deep than this、right. book, so we decided to start with something very、right. um, uh, beginner friendly, but also bring the more advanced、uh, tea、yeah. drinkers on the same page,、That's、so、right. that we can.、Right. Going deeper into the Chinese sea world together. That's right. And today we're gonna dive into Feng Huang Dan Tong, which we probably will explain a little bit. Why is this a Wudong Dan Tong? What's the difference between Wudong Dan Tong、right. and Feng Huang Dan Tong? We'll definitely explain that. So, guys,、um, I think just before we dive straight into the book, because I'm about to pull up the book, you might be wondering. You might, you might be wondering <laughs> what happened to tea trivia. Well, first we got to say goodbye to the Instagram people. We can't keep them、uh, there forever because we're about to pull the book up. So Instagram people, hey, tea, tea for me please is on. Hello. Oh hi. Hi Nicole and Khalid. Hey、uh, everybody on Instagram. We got to run now. We're going to be on YouTube side pulling up the book and carrying on. So、uh, and to find out what happened to tea trivia and what's coming up that's fun, tune in over there. Bye bye. I feel like that was a sudden shut off. <laughs> Anyway, so besides the、uh, Feng Huang Dantong, we're also gonna talk about some Taiwanese teas.、Uh, <laughs> My goal on Instagram is now to pick the most ridiculous thumbnail I can possibly find. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> we're also going to talk about the Bai Hao Wulong, which、uh, you might be know.、Uh, you might know this tea as a、uh, Oriental Beauty, and what are other names? It has a lot of names. That's the、uh, only other one I know. Mm. And Wenshan Balsam.、Mm. Okay, we got to take our time with this because、mm. this is a very. You'll notice with really good tea, it doesn't matter if it's a Wudong Dan Song or a or a really nice rock tea or a really high end green tea or no matter what, take one yin. Well, they have a wonderful aroma on the dry leaf.、Mm -hmm. They are never floating, puffy, crazy. They're always a little more reserved,、mm. elegant. I set up a dry brewing table. Can you Chocolatey switch the view? Chocolatey floral. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll show you guys the.、Uh, mm. We've got the、um, the dry brew table set up here. Right. I got the dry brew table. And oh, and the guy the wants getting some props. The mistake I make over and over is、Showing、when I set up a dry brew table, I forgot waste water bottle. Oh right. So I have to. You grab that teapot. That's so clever. <laughs> really good improvise. Whatever is、uh, close to me. So this, let's go this... to the brew camp. So we're more fifty fifty. Right, right, right. This teapot is a temporary. That's going to become our our、uh, waste water, right? Yeah. And I have the aged white tea. I'm gonna grab it because、uh, I'm planning on boil some white tea later on. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about、uh, tea trivia. Oh yes, yes. And、I、the and the tragic.、Everybody. And the tragic absence thereof. So Igor, I'm sorry, there will be no tea trivia today. But, but before you lynch me, before you cry out in anguish and sorrow,、um, uh, <laughs> he did tea trivia time <laughs> and make a little emoji. That's、oh, awesome. That. Okay, okay. So, I love that、um, emoji. And JS even said bye to Instagram. So because of the holidays and what I'm not anyway, there's a whole bunch of excuses that I had planned. I'm just going to tell you, I didn't get around to it. Okay, it's not up. But to make up for this, we're going to we, we're going to do a tea trivia episode. On the we, so we have these three episodes. If you saw the pre-roll, you know there's three episodes coming up where we're going to absolutely spoil ourselves rotten with amazing tea. Zhanglong、oh, Shampuar, Gushu Danshu Shampuar. So ancient tree, single tree.、Mm -hmm. Oh, that's gorgeous! Like、uh, now it's got that Danshong、um, Danshong floral. Mm. But not that perfumey one, you know. At first, it was a chocolatey. The dry leaf was chocolatey with the floral. Now it's just that floral dancehall aroma, and I cannot wait for the sip. So,、um, oh, Dan, Reiner, it's his favorite. It's his favorite dancehall. So right. So back to tea trivia. Right. We、um, bunch of excuses. I didn't didn't do it. So we're gonna do a whole trivia episode on the thirtieth, and there's going to be a prize at the end. That's all I can tell you for now. We will slowly release details as we concoct them. If so, if you've figured out that we don't quite, we're kind of making this up as we go. Because、yeah, that's we right, we are. We just feel like we want to do some live、yeah. at the end of the year, kind of that's a、right. celebration. We don't have any like exact topic. We're just doing stuff, tea just time. Just having some tea、right. and chit chatting. So、yeah. 
I think Trinity Trivia would be pretty fun. That's the ending. Look at that pour. Whoa. Look at that liquor. Nice I one. went to the big cam just for that. Oh, nice. Oh, one. yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> you know, one more um, round? Yeah. One more round of this. I'm having a small collection here of a honey orchid, duck shit. It's so funny how duck shit went vi viral. Oh, it totally went viral. No as matter, far as T World goes, that's totally viral. No matter viral. what name they correct, not correct it, but they named no, them more elegantly. That, right? There's no way they're turning back. Everybody oh. just remember that as duck shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They picked the perfect name on the first shot. Well, you never know. Maybe decades later, uh, they don't remember the duck shit name, like Bai Hao Wulong. It also have Peng Peng Cha, which means like, uh, hey, how do you say that? I don't know. Uh, we'll talk about that when we're in that session, but it's a, I don't know how to say that. Cindy's, Cindy's psyched. A whole Ooh. trivia episode, <laughs> episode, amazing. On the 30th, A, sounds good, looking forward. Mm. Cool Canadian interjection of A. I got to do that more on these, uh, on these podcasts. I don't know if you're, uh, who's old enough to remember Bob and Doug McKenzie, eh? But, uh. I might even throw in a few, uh, a few, uh, a few hosers. I should wear a toque for one of the episodes. I'm going to wear a oh. toque. I don't even have a toque, so I'll have to figure out where to get a toque. It's, it's not right that a Canadian doesn't have a toque, huh? She doesn't like toques. I got, I might get in trouble with Canadian she guys. Better, she's <laughs> really cool. She's really cool, but she's a bit of a hoser when it comes to toques, eh? Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. So um, she she's laughing just because it sounds ridiculous. I don't think you know the the, the I don't know pop the culture pop reference. Culture yeah. thing, but but it just sounds like there is something there. Yeah, there is something there. Mm. All right, guys. So um, enough of the Bob and Doug McKenzie, which probably only maybe JS and Brandon know what the hell I'm talking about. The rest mm. of them are like, he's really crazy, y'all. Sorry, R Reiner, that was supposed to be you. I hope you don't mind. I find you sure they know the that? accent. What? I don't know. I'm not even sure. They're pretty young. This mm -hmm. is a really old reference, so I'm dating myself big time, eh? Mm. Those young pop hosers. Anyway, as long as you don't wear a Leafs or a Canadians jersey, you'll be fine. Yeah, I don't want to polarize the. Uh, I don't want to polarize the tribe. All right. So on that note, guys, the book is working today. I hope mm. I didn't just jinx it, but hey, my. Uh... Oh, I went from the wrong thing. That's why I didn't have. I'm coming back here. I want to go in with the with the. With the Gaiwan transition and the sound effects. There we go. Now we're over. It's do a one. Cool. Mm. All right, guys. The book is working. Flashbacks. Oh, I think Cindy knows who's who Bob and Doug McKenzie are. That's epic, Cindy. <laughs> and uh, the finish, the full translation is uh, down in the uh, description box. So the link mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. there. With the tea we're sipping and the second one should be full translation uh, if there's uh, i think today there's some um, a little chinese something we put there like the original. yeah we've got some pinyin and some uh, chinese characters which could be handy so guys we've made it all the way down to the oolong tea section as we mentioned we've covered all of these oolong teas there's a great many of them as you're probably not surprised and today we are covering phoenix unique bush White Tips Oolong and Wenshang Ban, uh, ban Baozhong. So sans plus tarder, without further ado, let us begin. Phoenix Unique Bush. Uh, suddenly I had the urge to read in the Monty Python voice. I won't do it, but uh, maybe tomorrow I can be more goofy and do stuff like that. Phoenix Unique Bush. Phoenix tea is produced in Guangdong, Cha, no, Chaoan, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Hill. The shape and taste of the tea plant has its own individual cultures. Because of the need for individual picking, single plant production, machining, individual packaging, individual pricing, it is named as Phoenix Unique Bush. Um, lost my spot, here we go. The folk also spread that when the emperor of Song Dynasty passed the Wudong Mountain, he felt thirsty and the local people served him the red jun soup. After and after drinking, he praised that it was a good tea. <laughs> All right, and then it's got the shape, fat and strong, color, yellow, brown, and oily. Mmm, that's not a bad descriptor. Uh, soup, bright, bright like golden, that? clear. Um, fragrance, natural aroma of flowers. 
bottom of leaves, brood leaves, if you remember, green leaves with red edges. All right. Mm. Sip time. This is so smooth. You can taste that. Um, the, the, the mature bush, that 40 year bush is really. Yeah, it, I found that the good tea slows down the time. As you don't want to just drink, mm. drink and drink. Every sip you when you take a break, mm. it's actually really nice and um, mm. really. Um, you got to give the linger. Lingering. You got to give lingering. the linger space to linger, right? You yeah. don't want to be chugging. It doesn't that. just linger in the mouth. It also mm. acts in the nose. Mm -hmm. Throat, nose, like all the whole space is just full of excitement. Right. I noticed there's a Chinese mistake. Like the, I, I guess the, the, the translator read the, the, the thing wrong. Oh, really? Mm. And let me, so do you want me to unpack or do you want to expose the, uh, what you saw? Where is it? I'll highlight it for them. Okay, here. Hong Ying Cha. Hong Ying. Here it says a red jun. Hong Jun. Uh, two characters very similar but different. Oh. Uh, just two characters. Ying is not is Y I N. Oh, Hong Ying. Yeah. Red gold. Yeah, but here it says. Do you, do you mind highlight this? Yeah, yeah. So that's <laughs> Hong. Uh, that's supposed to be Hong Jing. J I N. Cha? No, supposed to be Hong Ying. Oh. Ying, but here is spelled as a Jing, which is wrong. Ah. Anyway, let's just start over from the beginning. I think that. Right on. Good. Good. Fine. And we'll cover <laughs> that when we get to it. So Phoenix Unique Bush. It's just like a, like a typo word, uh, like yeah, those kind of just an oversight that, that's mm. squeezed out. Um, so we'll come back to that. So uh, one thing I found confusing was, um, which might not be confusing if you're new to tea, but the individual cultures. Now we had a little chat about this because this the layers of confusing oh, culture. Yeah, what instead of mean? cultivars. Well, I ah. think it's just a it's just a mis like a mistranslation for cultivars, okay. but at first that's what I thought. The tea bush has its own unique cultivars. Um, and this need for individual picking and da da da. I didn't know what's going on all down here. And then when I read um, I, I didn't understand the linkage. Uh, because it says that's why it's named Phoenix Unique Bush. So we actually had to have a little chat about that. So I think we, we got to redo that for folks because it's really... Oh, right. I thought it was because, okay, it's because there's a bunch of different cultivars like Yasha Siang and Milan Siang and uh, Singren Siang. So th those need to be plucked differently because they're different. And it's actually just why the name or story here. This is more of the, almost like a... A little bit of flavor of those origin stories mm. uh, talking about this tea what and is talking about why it's called the Feng Huang Dan Chong. So Feng Huang is the location, the Feng Huang Mountains. Mm -hmm. Not uh, I don't know, they call Which that they Feng call, Huang Hill. They call it Phoenix Hill. Phoenix Hill, so, but it's a Feng Huang Mountains. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. a, you know mountainous areas, many mm -hmm. mountains. Uh, range. We talked about range. that before. Sometimes yes. We talk sometimes Shan mean a mountain and sometimes it means a mountain range. So in yes. this case it's a range, yes. right? Like there. later on the, the paragraph is suddenly drop the Wudo Mountain. That is a single mountain, the highest uh, the the origin, the talking about mm. the origin of uh 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 Feng Huang Dan is it on Wudo Mountain in the Feng Huang Mountains right. area. Yeah. So uh, So this should have had an S ideally. Kind that of, would indicate yeah. that it's or mountains. Yes. And uh, Dan Chong means individual. Dan means a single individual or uh, that kind of. Right, kind like of, um, not tomorrow. On the 30th, the 30th, we're having the Dan Shu, Gu Shu, Shen Hua. Dan Zhu, so also Dan Zhu, individual. Individual, Dan, right? Single. Yes, just by itself. Single tree. Chong means it's a, you know, it's a tea bush kind of mm -hmm. thing. So Chong it it means it's an individual process. So. Oh, this the, the unique thing about the Feng Huang Dan Chong is because it's its own tree has its own flavor. Different mm -hmm. trees have different flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, we I think we talked about uh, uh, the big tree, the small tree, and the bush mm -hmm. in previous videos. I think we talk about that in Puar videos, introduction right. to Puar, mm -hmm. and some live videos. I think it even but shows up in Cha Ren, mm. chapter twenty eighteen. I think we covered that. Right. 
and uh, Dan Tong is belongs to the uh, belongs to the Shui Xian area cultivars. Mm. Uh, it, the same as Shui Xian, which is a small tree with a main trunk, but uh, shorter trunk. Right. And a, uh, kind of spread out into branches. And right. uh, so those individual plants have different taste, have different, uh, even the look are different. That's why old times so they were individually processed because at that time tea production is not huge. There's no just single fields of, uh, uh, of tea. The later on, well, so does that mean that what we're having as a Fung Huang Dantong are each one from each plant? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. uh, because later on there's crafting, like a more demand, and so they try to transplant. So when you taste about, that's why there's a Mi Lan Xiang. So that's a bunch of uh, tea plants of Mi Lan Xiang using the relatively modern way of propagate tea. Mm -hmm. right. Propagate. Right. So, um, so they keep that that, using, that uniqueness becomes grouped together. Yes. They're all like brothers. Yes. Or so whatever. when you taste the Mi Lan Xiang, it's a slightly different than uh, Xin Ren Xiang, mm. slightly different uh, uh, than say Ya Shi Xiang. Right. That kind of thing. Right. And uh, uh, all time and all not all the flavors are uh, it, like classic flavors. Tons of those are new flavors. Right, Ten right. classic. Uh, Feng Huang Dantong flavors. There are old times, just that's it. Like the Ya Shi Xiang, some people did that really back. Like, uh, how long it is? No, it's very recent. It's after right. 2000. Right. And it's funny you say that they're slightly different because um, they they are, um, but they all have that that Dantong character. Yes. Right? They all have that idea, like, um, that they have that similarity, but they have subtle. Um, and another great candidate, maybe for a side by side, if you're ever thinking about digging mm. into detecting those subtle differences, I yes. think Dan Song is a great candidate for that. Absolutely, a little story though. <laughs> that Ya Shi Xiang when it first came out, it's around late 2000, like 2007, 2008. The farmer first emailed us those uh, Ya Shi Xiang. The first round, we we're like, oh, what? Oh, what is that name? Oh my God! They just named that. Uh, uh, yeah, Shi Xiang, that, that first batch was mind blowing. Mm. Mind blowing. And compared to nowadays, uh, uh, Ya Shi Xiang around the market, they're almost like a two level, two thing kind of thing. Right. It kind of a, a, a change, if I don't want to call that a loss, its original. Right. that uniqueness mm. like it was such a it really popped huh it was really different and the smell was so it's booming but it's still very uh it still has a, it's not only floaty that's a tea that will fill up the whole room with that unique smell you know it's dantong but it's not a dantong you taste before mm. and you drink it and that's what you're so, looking for right yeah, and you, it's mm. so unique and it's so booming, and it was really something new and something special. Uh, and now they, with all the like, uh, propagate that into a big field, and mm. a lot of things have changed. It's similar to antibiotics. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, things get lost when it goes yeah, when it yeah. goes big, right? But I remember that was uh, something. Reminds me, it might a metaphor for those music lovers. It might be like when your favorite, you when you discover artists when they're small, but then they go big and sell out. It's kind of like the same phenomena. You just got to do. It's not like they're bad people. That you just got to do certain things when you go big time, and you need to get the production up, right? right. So something is lost at that point. Um, mm -hmm. So that kind of explain what the, yes. this name is about, and um, and I don't want to. Uh, I confuse you because of how we mention and emphasize about each plant or each bush are and different. And I tell you, but that, that not... really threw me off when I right. read it. I thought they were talking about you pluck one bush, like literally like a danju. Yeah, they right? would do that. They would still do that if this tree is a couple of hundred years old, like really old ones, right. we still do that. Yeah. Right? Could, like you, a poor yeah. we also do that. Yeah, to take such a small batch to market, you've got to have a, a selling feature that's going to command the... Mm -hmm. the price that will make it worth the effort, right? Also the yeah. flavor that will make it worth the effort. So mm -hmm. um, a couple comments here. Cindy says, this is so helpful to me. I'm just starting to really understand the difference between Dan Song and rock tea. 
which has been confusing to me. Mm, um, there are leaves that look very similar mm, at a certain point. When you look at that, if you strip, just uh, get yes. that they're stripped, they're dark. long and dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and your, your oolong master was also super helpful to me tasting side by side. Mm. Oh, that's good to know. I have to say I agree so much with you, Cindy. Like as, uh, as somebody who had to jump dive into this uh, six years ago, I have to update my numbers, right? I always say five, but I think it's getting towards six years ago. Six, yeah. And to really figure out, okay, I've got four black teas here, I gotta write about them. The best thing for me was side by side, sip them, brew those up, get as, you know, gather up as much Same here. brewing hardware. Like I really think that those are mm -hmm. about strength like for me to learn too. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. helpful, very helpful. Mm. All right, so thanks for that. And we'll move on to, uh, oh wait, I wanted to say yeah, that JS said, there's right. a few other comments, eh? Um, let, uh, a, I'm totally into the A. <laughs> um, so Cindy says a whole trivia episode. Amazing. JS says also, I hope that tea trivia is not becoming a burden for you. It's not really a burden. You, you see, because when it, when it becomes a burden, I just don't do it. <laughs> right? So We really um, enjoyed that. I love, I I love, love doing how you it. do that. I he love is super doing excited it. when yeah. he was doing those things and come up with those so answers. It's, yeah, it's not a burden. It's really fun. Um, it was just holiday time. There was lots going on, and so uh, I just let it slip. And I'm glad you guys are very, uh, very accommodating. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Brandon says take off, eh? So that's indicating that he totally knows what uh, he knows <laughs> who Bob and Doug are. Okay. Um, <laughs> no way, man. You take off. So JS says as long as you don't wear a, a le oh yeah, I already read that one, the Leafs one. So yeah. flashback. Yeah. Cindy totally knows who Bob and Doug are. We're doing a little Bob and Doug promo. I might, I might dress up, right? They were all about the Leafs, so that's for sure. So um, anyway, so back on to... I, I don't think we finished that one yet. Oh, we didn't? I don't think so. Oh, I just call. explained the name. Oh. Um, oh, yeah, I did have a question. You're right. right. Um, he talk, they talk a little bit about Wudong. We're drinking Wudong. And yes. I wanted to emphasize, I think we've done a pretty good job already, but I want to emphasize right. um, that if you are not to, so Did I post uh, Reiner the, has no, yeah, the right, team, uh, sorry. Did no. I post the post about Wudong? I don't remember much. I think I did because early times we were really using a post on uh, blog a lot mm. to uh, record our tea trips I'm not sure and about visits, Wudong. but I think so, but it's stunning. Mountain. Mm. It's a stunning yeah. mountain. Yeah, so um, dig around in our blog mm. though, look around and see if you can find can something about Wudong. We definitely have something stuff. for the um, for the biodynamic farm. There's a, at least one right, right up on I them. think we should, uh, I think I did a Wudong. I think you it's did too. It's a beautiful misty, mountain, right? super misty. Mm. You don't see anything, that whole village. Uh, so the tea comes from Wudong mm. village, which mm. uh, is uh, one one of the most um, most famous uh, village on the whole mountain. There's another village slightly lower in uh, altitude uh, called Li Zaiping, which is where the the oldest uh, Dan Tong tree is found, still alive. It's mm. in that area. Those two villages produce one of the best. Uh, it's un it's unbelievable, guys. It's just got this. Yeah this floral it's got the it tastes like denton but where most denton denton come off overly booming perfumey this one has it has that aroma but it's just so elegant and deep and deep I, the most feel the the, the 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 aroma the deepness mm. only that like if you drink denton for a while and udon denton for a while one sip you know this is from udon yeah. that it mountain. is really easy. The prime yeah. tomorrow is really, really amazing. And yeah. uh, I remember that was pretty funny because the night, the day we got to that uh, village is a single lane up and down, right? And mm. it was rainy and everything. And uh, um, at night we have to go to, we wanted to visit, the, there, was a, there is a lake on the top of the mountain. Mm. A lake on so we, I've never been there. That was my first time to Udo Mountain, so I wanted to visit that. So at night we go up to the um, the hotel on top, so that next morning we can see the lake. And the lake usually is covered in mist, and you don't see much. It really depends if you can see it or not. 
But on the way up, it was rainy, it was dark, I see nothing. And, but I know that lane is so narrow and sometimes there's still two cars passing. Like I'm telling you, I probably have a picture on that blog, but it's pretty harrowing. terrifying. It's terrifying. <laughs> there's no safety guard or anything on the other side. You flip it, you're, you're done. Mm. That's the end of the story. And it's a super narrow. And you know the South Sahel when it's, it already have moss everywhere, and you mm. have, uh, and you have a little ring and everything. Everything is slippery. Everything and, gets slippery, yeah. You know, and the, including the road. And you're climbing. Yeah. You know, with a sharp turn and stuff. Yeah. Switchbacks, right? Really so, sharp switchbacks. Right. Of course, we didn't uh, drive. We switched the driver, so the local drive. But still, I look from his pure black, and he's driving, and he he knows where to turn, obviously. But it was really terrifying. Oh, that's awesome. I wish I could have been there for that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next time we were going there. Oh, cool. So the other thing in this section, sorry, no okay, sound effect right. that time, was um, Back to so the I wanted tent. to talk about the Wudong. And uh, basically, I just wanted to tell everybody, if you, if you get a chance, um, which you do, it's on our website, but you should take, <laughs> no, take some... I didn't see that coming. No, t just treat yourself. It's worth it. It really is worth it. Uh, mm. Even if you don't like Dan Song, I'm telling you, you won't regret. If you like good tea... Uh, it's just like music, you know, if you're a music lover and somebody tell you a real music lover tells you uh, Even though maybe you prefer uh, Maybe you listen to metal, but somebody tells you this is a classical song, but you got to listen to it You will like it. You know that it, there's something there that's going to be Transcending the style of the music. This is the same with Wudong. It transcends the style of the tea and it will reach out to a tea lover and just grab you and and just uh, give you that experience that you love about tea. The reason you're a tea lover will be made clear again, which is what we all love, right? Mm, mm. Okay, so, wow, I got myself a little bit inspired there. Yeah, I was like, whoa. Um, but anyway, Red Jun so, Soup, I was like, what? Right, here is a story of, uh, uh, you know, Dan Tong, which again related to emperor, you know, celebrity effect. So this is a Song emperor who passing by Wudong Dan Tong. I love Wudong these little Mountain, stories. <laughs> and, uh, and the local fellows, just because he was thirsty, so the local fellows gave him some tea. It's uh, called uh, Hong, Yin, Hong Yin Cha. And after he drank, he thinks this is good tea. So the concept is almost like uh, he endorsed this Tea says it's a good tea, so that's why the story will keep like a uh, you know endorsement kind of thing. Right, right. As an emperor who is uh, famous for uh, like uh, emperors, right? They have a good taste. They are well educated kind of people. Mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. say means they are they have the ability to discern. They discern, them. Yeah. yeah, and, and especially think, Song, right? These yes. are really art artisanal emperors, if we could say that. Yes. Um, but it's just the way the story is presented here is really like. Uh, compared to some of the other legends or whatever, it's just really blunt here. Yeah. Uh, the emperor goes by the mountain. He's thirsty. They give him and and to make it worse, they have that little fumble red jun soup. We feel like no, he got. Yin, that's wrong. I know it's wrong. Right. I'm just saying oh, okay. it, it adds to the whole where we read it and we're like, well, he didn't seem like he was that astounded by the tea, right? It's really kind of like, oh, right, oh. but. It's a bit. It's a bit like of a letdown, and we don't know what is red yin uh, soup is tea soup, right? But oh, it, it, soup, right? It yeah, would be yeah, better if they said red jun tea. Cha tang, cha tang, we call that mm. tea soup. It's basically uh, you should say hong yin cha. I think uh, otherwise mm. you will keep mm. uh, remembering the, the wrong hong yin cha. Yes. Mm. Not, so guys, not this is hong yin cha. Wrong. So if you check out the Finnish translation, you'll see the right version there, yeah. for sure. Certain point, just to reduce repeating the wrong thing. Right, right. So, uh, Hong Ying Cha. There we go. And so, yeah. And any, and we talked about that with some of the other um, tea legends or tea stories or just how a certain tea became known is related to the emperor. Those are your Instagram super endorsers of the time. Yes. You know, there was no Instagram. Yes. There was Emperorgram. And some people now I know. Notice there are people Emperor selling. Graham. I'm gonna laugh at Emperor Graham. Oh, that's pretty funny, right? You're right. Anyway, thanks out there for laughing, or at least <laughs> at least maybe groaning. 
but uh, yeah, Emperor Grimm. <laughs> right. And uh... <laughs> did you lose your train of thought yet? No, not good, yet. Good, it's good. Just a... Anyway, Go. pretending that I'm laughing. <laughs> oh, ouch. All right. Yeah. Um, next tea? I think so. Yeah, let's go to the next tea. I've beaten this one to death. <laughs> All right. White uh, Cindy, tips Cindy oolong Ma, tea. Are you talking about the tea called Tong Tian Xiang on your side or the one called Almond? Uh, both. In yes, terms of both. Wudong? Both. Mm, both are from Wudong. Mm. And it really doesn't matter to have the experience mm. I was talking about. Wudong is yes. the key point. Yes. If uh, we search Wudong on our side, I think both tea come out. But mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. Tong Tian is sold out. I'm <laughs> not sure. Tong Tian, I think it is. I got to yeah. organizing all the stuff that we sold out and just get that list. Mm -hmm. Crowded on it. But yes, but that's a good question because we mm. do have two Wudong teas there. Yes. And... Um, it just means that those dantong come from Wudong Mountain. Yeah. Tong Tian Xiang is the type of uh, aroma. Mm -hmm. And almond, sometimes you could, uh, uh, is a type of uh, aroma. You could hear that as uh, mm -hmm. Xin Ren Xiang or Ju Duo Zai. We those had a sample the other day, right? Mi Lan Xiang. Mm -hmm. Wudong da it was Wudong Dantong, Mi Lan Xiang. Yes. So it was from the, that area. Yes. And right away I sip that, I'm like, oh, this is Wudong Dantong. Right. It's just, it's, it, it, they all have that. When we say that Dantong has that characteristic, Wudong has a sub-characteristic of that that is just... It just with a, it stands out. That really, really stands out. Just give you goosebumps. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So on to our White Tips Oolong Tea. I was literally way down into this before I figured out what it was. So White Tips Oolong Tea is also named Pang Fang Tea. The more white tips, the more expensive. Stay cool and drop a little brandy and other strong good wine into the tea. You can make a concentrated alcohol flavor, so it is also known as champagne and oolong. Over a hundred years ago, white tips oolong spread to the British royal family. Queen Victoria found the tea had a good taste and elegant appearance and named as Oriental Beauty. Can't say that anymore. Okay. Before we talk about the tea, I want to ask you guys a question. Is Oriental now, like uh, nowadays, uh, a sensitive word? I'm just curious. That's a good question. I get, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't feel anything. I don't know. So You don't uh, get offended when you hear it? I, I don't know. I don't have this cultural reference or stuff right, like that. Right. Like, I literally don't know because of the... I don't know. What did I watch? I watched something and somebody corrects uh, somebody because they said Oriental right. as if it's, uh, uh, you know, not good, but it's, I it's, don't know. It's not that's PC, why, I think. That's I think why it's, I it's been you kicked and out of the like, No, I think okay. you're right. Like, that's my impression too. I'm glad okay. you're asking them because I'm not 100%, but right. I've seen those more than one time that somebody used Oriental and kind of gets poo pooed. Oh. Hey, don't say that. We don't say that anymore. We say. Uh, Let me know, know if there is Asian any or Southeast Asian or right. or be specific. I don't know what the alternative is, but I think because it has some sort of I don't know. Let us know what your impression of that mm. is. Just I don't know. Really curious. Yeah. Okay. So this tea, do you know what it is by the English? So Why I figured out. Tea? I figured out when I read. But the more you the red, you would probably. Uh, I figured it out actually right here. Ah. I didn't get it until Queen Victoria helped me out. Right. At the very end, I'm like, oh, it's Oriental Beauty. It's Bai Hao. Oh. And then I was like, oh, yeah, Bai, white, Hao, yeah. good. Bai Hao Oolong. Okay. How or Hao Tip. Hao Tip. tip. Hao Tip. tip. A, uh, um, like fuzz. Bai Hao Yin Zhen. Yes. Fuzz. Yes. Mm. So um, that's where I figured it out on the last two words, Oriental Beauty. I was like, oh, white right. tips. So you see why we stay away from translations, right? White tips is just like... I don't know, it lacks a little bit of luster. No. <laughs> and then okay. in this part here, I just want to mm -hmm. say in the alcohol part, stay cool, drop a little brandy in your tea right here. Um, I don't know what that's about. That's pretty funny. And I was wondering, was that, would they have used, I don't think brandy in the context that Westerners know brandy exists. Like, would that be Baijiu? No. Okay. Ah. I, I found that when I heard you read this, I found that it's a little bit like I would be hot. Huh? Yeah, but, I, I was mostly, huh? Right. So first sentence first. Yo, 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 yo. What are you doing? Oh, did I earthquake the table? Sorry, yes. guys. Because I noticed my water is on. Mm. Anyways. Um, Bai Hao Wulong, there has another name named Peng Feng Cha. 
Mm, here which is, is hot here, right? Tea. Yes. Mm -hmm. What does this mean? So that's the word I don't know how to translate in English. It means bluffing. But sometimes oh. it's not the literate that you want to bluff in for strategy. You know, people uh, uh, sometimes uh, say, uh, oh, you, uh, kids would have this more, right? Sometimes they say, oh, I, I had a, I ate a, say, I ate a apple of this size. The other say, oh, that's small. I ate an apple of that size. Like oh. that kind of a, how do you call that? I don't it's know. It's not quite That's a bluffing, but it has the sense of a, exaggerating. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exaggerating. Well, the other people obviously don't believe that. Oh, you know, it oh, has okay, that kind okay. of a thing. We call that trinial or in local. Guys, if you have the, any uh, suggestions for words for this phenomena, throw them out there because this is this is exactly what we're talking about. Like it's like it's it's a case where you guys have a. a a succinct little set of characters that means something that we need a little bit of a at least a couple sentences yeah you would right? say like uh, if somebody says uh, oh I have a, a huge I have a garage of seven cars at home and your friends I oh, don't believe him he's just a you know oh yeah yeah what is it, like a it's not right. really bluffing it's, that's why a, I don't know how to say it's not a full-on liar either yeah, it's not it's so just harsh a, it's, it's just a, a tells tall tales we yeah. have that sort of thing uh, something like that yeah. it's not necessary like to say this i don't know how to say it right and people are all right. sort of agreeing that they never heard the white tips before uh, cindy says she never heard that called um I oh think, wait oh, let's back up igor's back got up it off topic here, I think that the word cindy boring. says i think the word oriental is not pc what's pc politically correct oh political correct. but i do use it when referring to this tea i know some Company is called that Eastern Beauty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Companies are terrified of those PC oh. words. <laughs> uh, sorry about off topic. I'm also learning to differentiate all types of oolong. I have one that is rolled and roasted. It will surely be a roasted tie guanyin, but its taste reminds me of the wui. Mm. Oh, I, though it's off topic, I really love this. And yeah, this what is you're a great touching one. on is a very deep topic that I always want to do, but I need time to figure out how to unroll those because it's right. a good, solid, good topic. Complicated though. But complicated. Mm -hmm. Yes. Remind me of Ping Hu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and talking about roles and process. As mm -hmm. many people, like when we're talking about Taiwan tea, they think there there's tons. By tons, I mean the majority of the Taiwanese tea on the market are from mainland. But mm -hmm. people still drink that as Taiwan tea because they don't know. And some people say, sure. I go to Taiwan to source tea. That should be Taiwanese tea. No. No, we have boats Same and with, trucks now. Right. Same <laughs> with like a long thing. You don't go but, to the... And, and to the point too. Big deal. It tastes good. It tastes good. Right? Yes. It, right? Why it matters to the topic that Igor is talking about mm. is talking about the taste would tell you what mm. it is, not the name. Right. So and with a process uh, to make the tea taste like Bai Hao Wulong, you don't have to be from Taiwan, mm -hmm. right? To taste like Baozhou, you don't have to be. Right, we always say like eight, at least 80% of the flavor comes from the processing. Yes, yes. Mm. So great one. Um, yeah. And um, stay tuned. When we figure out how to unpack that, we'll have a, we'll have mm. a, killer, a killer show for you. <laughs> And Cindy says, I never heard it called white tips. I love that it is beautiful in appearance and taste. Yes. Mm, mm. And Igor says, rock tea like the Hong Pao can be rolled. So back to, so stay tuned. That's a little bit too much for today, but a very, really great mm. observation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Love it. And uh, Dee's Versified says, so back to the um, Oriental. It is my understanding that things are Oriental, not people. Okay. I am with Cindy, never heard it referred to as white tips. Yeah, I think it's just one of those oh, things. Oh, Oriental. Okay, okay, and, see, I never know that. I thought, right. like, you know, the, the, the most English words I learn are from dictionary, like more textbook of yeah. meaning. Like those I've, even new seen, ones I never, I've even seen people bummed know. out, like get sort of okay. bummed for using the term the Orient, which is obviously not referring to a person, but to a region. And get kind of oh da da da. Because when the, that the little thing happens and talk about, oh, I if somebody uh, say like to me, I personally wouldn't feel different if you call me Asian or Oriental because I don't know that. Yeah. You know. No, I think well, I don't think I don't think it's. I wouldn't know though. I don't. I don't. I might be wrong. I don't want to offend anybody, but I don't think it was the the like an Asian thing that said, hey, don't call people that. I think it was sort of 
Maybe more if you... The colonial guilty kind of decided, hey, we should feel bad about that and not use it. I don't know. And it could be like the old way of using it, a new way. Maybe、mm. you just didn't know. I don't know. But I, I really don't thank know. Thank you for clearing that up with me so I know what's going on. Okay. Hyperbolize.、Mm, I like、What、that. What does that mean? So she's talking about those people who、um, exaggerate a little bit overly. And that's、oh. a great word for it, too. Like,、uh, it's a little bit fancy, like to,、uh, but, but yeah, somebody who's constantly using hyperbole. Yeah, I, I had this,、oh, this big.、Okay. I had a demon this big. Right, right, right. And、uh, yeah, yeah, Igor yeah. say thanks. It has that kind of flavor.、Mm, cool. Yes. Anyway, so that's in the name of the tea because the people didn't believe what he said because he was like, oh, my tea got bitten by、uh, bugs and that's why it tastes so unique. So that's why people are saying, yeah, you are. Hyperbolize. Hyperbolizing. Hyperbolizing.、Mm -hmm. So that's why it's called Peng Feng Cha.、Uh, I don't Peng see、Feng. that much. Yeah. Bai Hao Wulong is just the direct translation sometimes, or white fuzz wulong. I don't see many people do that because it has the ready to use English name as Oriental Beauty or Eastern、mm -hmm. Beauty now.、Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, talking about the,、uh, the wine area, which you. The wine and brandy section.、Oh, yeah, I was、section. so shocked by that. You can even, even try it at home if you have some. What it says is when the tea is cooled a little bit, after brew, let it cool <laughs> a little <laughs> bit <laughs> and drop in a few drops of brandy or some nice wine. It helps enrich the taste of the tea. And, okay. Yeah, so、uh, this is what kind of like one of the reasons it's also known as a champagne wulong.、Okay. It works well with the alcohol. Uh, Strange. I really want to try that. I've never yeah, tried that. Just、uh, put a little bit of those. It's not a full like. I've、uh, tried a little drop of whiskey in s h u p u a r That's、mm. okay. I prefer them、uh, in series, like have sip one, sip the other, but I tried、mm. that just to see. Right. And、huh. uh, yeah, Queen Victoria was really fond of this tea, the taste, the look,、mm -hmm. and or,、uh, gave it a name as Oriental Beauty. I think a while ago, I don't remember who, but we got a question about why is、uh, Bai Hao Wulong or this uh, uh, tea expensive?、Mm. Right. So, right. Right, yeah.、Uh, some people, because there are people, I think, is overselling the fact that it's a bug bitten tea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not as fancy as people think, as a, a bug bitten. So, It's,、uh, so、it's so unique as other teas are not bud bitten.、Uh, bud bitten. Many teas are bud bitten. Right. Pro and probably all. Yes. <laughs> like, just not、yes. as much. Yes. And also, there are many bugs. What, what's、mm. so special? Again, away from the story a little bit, talking about tea itself, is、uh, what happened is this tea in the summer when there's more bugs in, a, <laughs> in the environment. And those are called a xiao ye chan. It's a unique little flying little bud. Super leaf hopper in leaf English. Leaf hopper.、Oh, okay,、mm. thank you. Leaf hopper.、Um, thank you, Eric Scott. Yes. I wouldn't know it's called a leaf hopper, except he did a bunch of study on this. Right, right. By the way, on mainland China. Ta da da da. <laughs> yes. So those little guys,、uh, they hop, 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 and eat. They're mini, so they don't eat the leaf like a true. A big chunk off. off. No, they're that looks really painful, but not the, like the, a caterpillar. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not like a caterpillar.、Mm. Why you leave is a chew off on the leaf. You know, so if you look、uh, against the sun or something, you will see a whole leaf with the lines because that layer got chewed thinner.、Mm. They eat yeah, off the layer. Yeah, little lines. Yeah. Right, so the little lines. So the tea plants kind of get a little shock of this kind of a. Under、um, attack. Attack.、Mm. And what they happen is. They grow super, super slowly、mm. under the shock.、Mm. So, what you see was the leaves are still roughly intact, but、uh, they're really mini. The top grade, let's talk about what a real good a top grade by Hao Wulong l o o k like.、Mm. Tons of buds. Useful for you guys. Tons of white buds. If you see those、uh, who just have a little bit of white buds, the more the white buds. You answered my question. I was、right. going to ask, how can the summer tea have so many buds? But you just said it because it grows slow because it's under attack.、Mm. So it gets a chance. Okay. Yes.、Mm. And、uh, it、uh, has a lot of uh, 
uh, fuzz. Fuzz. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you look at down a little bit. Let me come back the, for them. Yes. Text here talking about the color down here, is, you know, is red. It has white. It's a prominent white too. It's a mix of a color, especially white. Fuzz is very important if you are spending a good money on that. Mm. And you have a, you will see bud with one or two leaves. Mm -hmm. They're intact. Uh, it's not just a bud. Yeah, it even says here too. White tips obvious in terms of the shape. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the more fuzzy, the more ugly fuzzy, the mm -hmm. better it is. And those buds are different than spring buds. Those are really leathery buds. What ha because it's a, interesting it's choice almost, of words. What I mean is they're old buds. By old, right. it's not size big. It's not like, a, uh, again, I use kid, okay? Just imagine a five years old kid, right? And they got attacked and stopped growing. And they still... <sighs> What a, this is a great I, metaphor. I love it. I just mean, I like to compare tea with people because right. we know people more. It's yeah. easier to understand. Yeah. It's freaky, is that what I said? And they're but, complicated in a similar way. Yeah, but they still leave vampire, like vampire, okay? They still leave uh, 40 years or 50 years. They have the kid's shape, but they're, they're different, okay? I love this. This is <laughs> getting spooky. <laughs> but that's the, the Baihao tips. Compared to right. spring tips, which is they're not a, a normal... soft, tender five-year-old. They're yes. like a five-year-old that's been around for a long time. <laughs> and the hot summer heat, leathery, is a great a one. Creepy. <laughs> and covered in fuzz. That's the concept. So those are not tender. When you touch them, mm. they're more fibrous and more um, mm -hmm. Res um, sturdy. Yeah, but right? they're tiny. They still still are tiny. Mm -hmm. so you will mm -hmm. see a lot of uh, regular uh, baja uno, which are bigger in leaves. You know, like a, it's basically just a high oxidation wool, which is not quite. It can't right. deliver. Because one thing I wanted to add is that uh, I mentioned Eric Scott and uh, that he went to a farm on the mainland, which, by the way, he's totally transparent about. But if you want to learn more about the science mm. of Baihao, check out his work. It's fantastic. And when they're under attack, their growth slows down, but they also re they release chemicals. Like that's what mm. plants do when they're mm. under attack. They can't run away. So they release chemicals and uh, he's got some great uh, stuff on his YouTube channel and in, on his blog, I think. Yeah. So check it out because it's very interesting. Um, I mean, that's what we're all, that's what we're enjoying is different chemical reactions that tea plants. Oh, that's so good. Sweet, a weird, not weird, just a sweet, unique, like gentle, a little, sweet. Like a festive alcohol too. Ha <laughs> Oh boy, that's good. Have a sip. These versifier. I am doing so, the sip. brandy whiskey in Eastern the Beauty. Beauty. It has that aged in a barrel taste. Oh, oh, cool. Are you doing that right this moment? Right now. Oh, that's, oh, that's excellent. Cool. I'm definitely uh, going to get that on our mm. list. And Cindy's going to try it. Yeah, yeah. Tis the season for a little festive cheer, right? Put a couple drops in your... There's a nice... Uh, uh, mini cocktail right there. Yeah, a little mini holiday cocktail. Mm. Mm. Cast age, I love that flavor. I love that cast age flavor. All right, so cool. we'll head back to, uh, head back to the book. Mm -hmm. And then down to Wensheng Bao Zhong. All right. All right, so, oh yeah, I gotta read before I start reading my notes. Wensheng Bao Zhong has a long history which is representative of Northern Taiwan tea. As the saying goes, that North Wensheng, South Dongding. The early years of the Qing Dynasty, for the tribute to the court, packed four liang, 200 grams, tea into a square bag with two square paper, which phase contrasted the bag to prevent the tea spilling. Cover and seal tea name and marketing number. Taipei Wensheng region that produces the best quality, best aroma, it used to be known as Wenchang Baozhong. Uh, shape, tips of leaves are curly, dark green is frog skin, frog skin, uh, soup, bamboo, yellow, bright, fragrance, smell of orchid, bottom of leaf, brood leaf, light green with red edges. Are you smelling the tea, breathing the tea? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, no, 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 not too loud. Okay. I just hear you. I'm, I just, I'm you jealous because I have to talk. I can't, right. I can't get that aroma rotation. I just do that and it's mm. like so... Yeah, so if you don't know what we're talking about, check out our how to taste tea video. 
was a game changer for me. Just like Side by Side was a game changer, the other biggest game changer, if you ask me, what are the two, what are the things I need to do to really understand tea? Learn how to taste. And what I mean is watch the video and follow the technique. There's actually a technique to help you absorb more information per sip, which sounds really scientific, but just check it out. And the other thing is side by side to help you discern. But do the how to taste first and then execute your side by sides. You're gonna get a lot out of that. So anyway, back to the book. Um, Wen Shang, uh, if you remember when we covered Dongding, um, they also cover this little saying, saying. Which, which doesn't have any sort of, it doesn't roll off the tongue here in English. Um, I think it's over here probably yeah. um, in Chinese. Probably sounds cooler and everything. Can you say it for us? Come on. See? Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, anyway, it didn't quite work um, in English, so it doesn't really sound like a saying. Um, we would say uh, Wenzhang's in the north and Dongding's in the south or something, I guess. Right. Um, and um, the packing part, I was just, I read this part here, sort of this area. I read this like five times trying to decode what is being said. In the end, I said, Forget it, I'm waiting for the finished translation. I don't think this is important. I thought maybe they use a basket and then they use the paper to prevent the tea from coming out the slats of the basket. Like, what is phase I contrast? Really, right? I was going to ask you, because I, uh, if you I check out the full translation, I kind of simplify because I mm. don't know how to translate that. It's just a technique of wrapping, mm. meaning they use two mm. square-shaped paper. The way they put it, it's... Uh, uh, see, I... Don't know how no, to say it, but I think the you, gist you did is a great job. I remember reading it and going, oh, okay, it's they wrap the tea. Yes. And for us, like, I don't know, maybe it's more interesting in, in Chinese because you understand the wrapping, like it's kind of something people know about. For us, you say they wrap that in a special way for the emperor, good enough, I'm go. Mm. I don't need to know phase contrast of wrapping. That. Just simplify it because I'm not sure how to say it. It's complicated. Just but my once point you is, see does it, it add you know, something? Yeah, it yeah. doesn't add much to your understanding it's of the tea, the, right? Just kind of explain. Uh, in previous uh, episode, we talked about what is baozhong tea, right? It's not a cultivar, but it's not baozhong. It's a cultivar. It's a it's a wrapping. It gets its name from its uh. original wrapping, and this is that baozhong wrapping, mm. uh, wrapped in this way. Everybody is a little cube mm. to ship it kind of thing right. and sealed with uh, the T name as well as uh, to say logo, kind of like a logo kind of thing. But right. here it says marketing number. Right, right. So anyway, so that part really threw me. And then mm -hmm. um, it wasn't too far of a stretch to figure out that's Taipei. Mm -hmm. um, I never, re once I see it as Taipei though, with my minimal Chinese, I realized that Thai Bay me, uh, indicates it's on the north part of the island, I think. Is yeah, that right? Yeah, Taiwan. Mm. The uh, north, so then they have city in Taipei. Mm. Kind of yeah. tells you that. Mm. Mm. So, um, is all, and Cindy says, is all Baozhong tea Wenshang Daozhong? Mm, that's a good question. Strictly speaking, no. But uh, nowadays, a lot of times when we talk about Baozhong, it's referring to uh, Wenshan Baozhong. Mm. Uh, because uh, uh, we also like uh, uh, the Dongding Wulong, it also belongs to the Baozhong tea. But uh, every tea turn and stuff, there's a time, there's an era that marks it. Maybe a hundred years ago, when we talk about Baozhong, it could be the Dongding Wulong, it could be Wenshan Baozhong. But mm. today, I think most of the time when we talk about Baozhong, at least it's more referring to right. uh, Wenshan Baozhong. There might be other ones. A lot of times, uh, I still think best way is to clarify with the right. retailer. Right. Right. Uh, Baozhong, should just correct the spelling. Baozhong, yeah. I had the inverse question, actually. Mm. When I read it, I thought about how it says in the Taipei Wenshan region, mm -hmm. uh, this is known as Baozhong. I was like, did this like has the name like is the name has the name spread or is it more used but it's sort of the inverse question of cindy is it mm. is, is there other ones but yeah so that is a, a great question and a great answer as well thank you oh, thank you <laughs> and i think we have a um i think i put a link down below we did a tasting with your mom. Uh, this is way back in our early days of mm. YouTube. So there's actually a four tea tasting. Mm. And there are four, those are Baihao, not Baozhong. Those Sorry, I should have said that on the last section. 
but um, better late than never, right? Mm. So down in the links below, there's a 40 tasting of four Baihao Uno mm. of varying grades. So um, that's, and yes. that features Jian Li when she was visiting from yes. China back yes. when people could visit. <laughs> and uh, so that's down in the links down below. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I think that's about it for that section. Right. And we're just. Oh, we're finishing. This is it for the Uno section. Next week yeah. in the new year, we will be diving into black tea. Before that, I want to show you the leaves. Oh, the brood leaf. Let's get down to the brew cam for is that. Really pretty. I'm going to give the split look here and you jam that right in there. Right. It'll just trap. I resist on that. Just about. Oh, it locked here right on there. Look at those brood leaf. Yes. Just a little bit so of the shade there, of the camera. What I want to show you is about not just the color, the shape, I'm going big not for anything, but the softness, the silky mm. softness. Which you can see, with, for, it does, it looks silky. I'm just looking right. at the screen. I'm not looking at the... Okay, uh, let me be pro. You're doing a great job. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's don't use finger. <laughs> so this kind of luster... But guys, just because you said that, I want to tell them. Do this and yes. grab it with Never your fingers. Hesitate. The finger Don't hesitate. Is the best, so you, you can, can feel, feel the difference. There we go. Yeah. Yes. So absolutely. Just you know, if you're brewing tea for a bunch of people that are acquaintances, or you're trying yes. to secure a business deal, maybe not. Yes. But when you're at home, one, yeah. fun, get or in there, touch everything. it. Everything you you dumped it mm. and you can grab it. Be Play sure with to it. Do that. Tear That's it apart. Gold. That's yeah. a lot of things. Yeah. So this one is um. How should I say? Maybe if you don't look at the brew leaf as much, you might not feel much of all this leaves. But if I, you I have been right absorbing, so uh, I mean, observing, yes, the brood leaf, you will s slowly start to notice the difference in kind of texture, the mm. luster, the, the, the difference in all. Yeah, and as you touch it and interact with it and look at it and pay attention to it, you will get to where you see it and you go, oh boy, that leaf looks really silky. And mm. you might want to confirm and you can go in and confirm with your finger and make sure. But mm. that you'll dial it in, you know. It's yeah. really. Yeah. I didn't know what you meant by look the silky leaf or whatever, mm. silky brood leaf, and you know the the way they tear as well tell yes. you a lot about the processing Absolutely. quality. So uh, good to tear a couple apart. It's always fun when I visit with your mom. I'm kind of reminiscing now because I'm thinking about that video I was just yeah. talking about. But she's always like get in there and yeah. and pull that out and show me stuff and we use the WeChat Translate and <laughs> da, da, da. really fun. Yes. Yeah, cool. Cindy says, I'm totally playing with my tea. Good. Yeah. Very good. That's a good habit. Yes. All right, guys. That's so it for today. That's it for today. We've yeah, got, as we mentioned earlier, tea. we're going to keep on drinking camera. this. These things, this thing's got great legs. It's going to, great endurance. Mm -hmm. um, so again, uh, coming up tomorrow, we've at 1230 Eastern, we've got our just tea time. We're going to sit down. We're going to have tea. We're going to be drinking uh, Zhanglang Gushu Danju Shempuar from uh, Zhanglang Village. Yeah, we'll save that and we haven't drank that for a year. If you want to get primed for that, there's plenty of videos. Uh, I haven't linked them down below, but I will. Plenty of videos about our trip there. Uh, and we even have shots of the tree that we'll be drinking tomorrow, mm -hmm. which is sort of freaky to say. But yeah, Danju means single tree, like we talk about Dan Song, single bush, Danju. Um, so we're going to be checking that out. Uh, the day after, we have another one. So the next three days, we have tea time at 12.30 Eastern. And of course, on the 30th, as promised, we're going to be doing a big trivia episode where we're going to jam-pack the episode with trivia. We'll find some way, and there will be a prize somehow. We don't know. New wow. Year gift. New Year's gift. We don't know how it's going to work yet, but we'll figure that out, and we'll sort of slowly release the details as we create them. Uh, over the next couple days during our tea time. So uh, guys, I see lots of you saying, um, uh, Cindy asked a pretty, compli a pretty good question, but I'm not what sure a short answer. For, oh, right? What are you looking for when tear a leaf? Mm. <laughs> come on, come on know, back tomorrow. Maybe we can yes, tear some leaf apart. Most important, keep tearing and tell me what you notice before mm. beside the stuff. Great point, right? Because uh, I don't want to tell you what to look for and a lot of times people think that they are supposed to get something. Right, let me... Oh, what okay. I think what you're saying is taste the tea, tear the leaf. Save it and keep doing it with a bunch of tea and Build notice the a correlation. Is there a correlation between the way the leaf feels and mm. how the tea tasted? See what happens in your brain as you do that. And that's a really great yeah. way to let them... And we will have a, more videos and mm. explaining mm. why yeah. and 
how to do those. And then um, Cindy says, thank you for a great episode. JS yeah, says, thank you. Thank you. JS, thank you for all the cool stuff you do. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate all of you guys joining us. Dees Versified, Cindy, uh, Igor, I know you were out there checking up the scrolling up. Oh, uh, Reiner, thank you for joining. Everybody, if you didn't comment and I or I forgot to throw out your name, thank you for joining us. And uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the very latest, we'll see you next week for another episode of Sunday Tea Book. Until next time, keep, keep steeping. Steepin'.